Yo, what's up you guys? Everwrap here, and welcome back to my channel. So, and today is Flash Black Friday, and it is Black Friday sales. Wow! So we're celebrating for a 20th anniversary from Walt Disney Animation Studios for a feature length film from Treasure Planet. Treasure Planet and it premiered in November 20th or 25th, 2002. I tell a story for 20 years when I was a kid and when I was 9 years old. When I was a kid, I went to Seminole World. Mom take me to the movies for the Seminole World. So, I watch a video from Monsters Inc. for the previews from Treasure Planet. I see this movie about the teaser trailer. This trailer, and I seen the dumps gonna eat. And yes, but that's for the VHS for the Treasure Planet. That's when the Monsters Inc. Incorporated, that is. If you might want to see it for the Disney Channel for the movie surfers, it's written for Marcus and Ben, the robot. It's voiced by Martin Short. It's going to take it behind the scenes, it looks like it. Here's some of the news. That question is why is Treasure Planet is one? And on some games for the Disney Animation Canon. That is, the joys in, in Treasure Planet and more category and then any pile of gold <laughs> by Douglas Laman. Laman. Disney is not unusually Straight it, but it let you know what the animated movies it owns. They're still making a new theme park to rise based on the cartoon studios made in the in 1930s. Meanwhile, they've been conventionally promoting promoting works in social media that is they acquired for the Disney and Fox merger, as if they've always been part of. Of the Disney Library. Throne Stone even found a hit in the billboard reminding for Disney's studio for Disney's studio behind the projects like Zootopia or Raya and the Last Dragon. The Mouse House covers and brand over the, these kinds of antagonism, these kind of animation poetries. However, that doesn't mean that every animation future that Disney has produced has gotten a kind of it's like a push take. For example, Treasure Planet. One more than one of the more forgotten poetries in the Walt Disney Animation Studios. You won't be seeing a new theme park and attractions from Shake like Shanghai Disneyland. And based on exhibits of Jim Hawkins. Joseph Gordon Levy, Levi, and Long John Silver, Brian Murray. Meanwhile, it is doubtful that there is any plans from Disney Plus shorts continuing in the universe adventures for the cartoons. Why is it will be there? Treasure Planet. Treasure Planet was a legendary box of disaster that informing Disney's decisions to Fredro hand-drawn animation in future length projects. Those financial results literally led to the Disney treating like treasure plants like the Black Cauldron and Home on a Range. A box office doubted without much reason to be acknowledged. Acknowledge. But Treasure Planet is a movie with plenty of vultures with worth recognizing. In fact, Treasure Planet has so many unique charms that it well worth it is well worth calling with passion pro project from director of Ron Clem Clements and John Musker. For directors of Moana, Little Mermaid, and Aladdin. And also, The Great Mouse Detective, one of the unsummed games 
Walt Disney Animation Studios, that is. Lesson 1. Related, how Atlantis the Lost Empire almost changed Disney forever. Based on the book by Robert Louis Stevenson in Laval and Treasure Island. It's a parody of a treasure island that made of. Treasure Planet makes the story of Jim Hopkins and his search and buried treasure in places to visit stars. Though many of the characters from a source in Minerals remain, they've been translated for the to the fifth in activities amongst common um, in sci-fi entertainment. A peg legged pirate like John Silver, for example, is now for a cyborg. Meanwhile, a parrot as usual companion, like pet of a pirate, is now like pink blob named Murph that can transform into an Miniature with pocket of anyone or anything like a cosmic treasure planet isn't really about an it orders and orders roots. It's about blending them with new outer spacing trappings. The manifests itself in various and creative ways. Great ways, but one of the most exciting examples is how to blends over to the production design. Treasure Planet it takes place in the world where voyages to other planets were common in the common aliens and robots are just in, is in or their next door neighbors. However, it also introduces to costumes ripped right out out of a 19th century where Treasure Planet was first published. This version of Burnt vs. Sci-Fi as imagined by someone from the 1800s is immediately capturing, especially since some goes in hand-to-hand -hand with similar fusion hand-drawn artistry in computer animation for computer animated wizardry. In the early 2000s, there was a thought one of the two artiforms forms being as each other's throats and dominions. Treasure Planet dares to ask questions of why can't can the six and work off each other? That is the question. Thus, the humans and, and aliens are lovingly hand-drawn creations, while several environments like the lush forest on a tutelar location are realized through the same means. Number two, however, like accomplished, accomplished by CG animation in its place like an Manicable down the cartoon of the creature in the center of Treasure Planet, or expect a black hole that a character is almost stuck into. And especially, Mr. Arrow had died. This place called Heaven. There's the teenage man, the teenage kid is in these antagonists in the environments. Hand drawn Hawkins stand out against these drops that. At that point, he's supposed to immediately look like an, an underdog who doesn't belong there. For us, this CG cyborg, parts of Long John Silver. They took a fantastic work incredibly well and at and at intentionally and compare how much in itself and its characters is satisfied and portrait pursuit of the treasury and the legendary treasure. Merely have been a hand-drawn animated film made in the 21st century and socialized is CG tools in some degree. Blue is in such thoughtful means. Number three. And then there is an emotional heart of Treasure Planet, which is deals with a young man 
grappling you know, with his daddy issues. Jim Hawkins is the one in many Disney productions to deal in the absent of parental figures, but many of these of have in the visions and their parents and or lost in their deuce and behind in anyone's control. Hawkins, meanwhile, lost his dad in more than ground concerning stances, with his father leaving in his family one morning without a warning or even a saying goodbye to his offspring. Engaging up Hawkins to a teenager compared in the child vision of Hawkins and Treasure Planet. Hawkins and Treasure Island means the trauma is this experience has been a service of a hard show around Hawkins. Number four, going to routine for the character when Hawkins enters the figure of the realm of the Walt Disney Animation Studios, that is. A unique is in the much more, the further the fleshing out in the, in the on the best, and out in the best, a sequence of a treasure planet. The montage of uh, Hawkins and on John Silver founding us original I'm Still Here Jim's theme. It's the theme music. And another to another to part of the Disney norms, I'm still here, that is an unique song, with those in apparently from the vocals in, from John it seemed to be speaking Hawkins' heart at his lips. Going to routine and genius as movies soon allows the character to focus and gradually bounding through small specificals. Silver and Hawkins coat of all after day work rather than singing and dancing. Realistic behavior and wanted to put into this and to put on the heart and especially great in this fantasy scene flashback to in the mornings Jim's father left his family. The vocals and the instrumentals I'm still here, taken in level into Hopkins raises over its dad about to vanish forever. Quietly it is in the behavior, Hopkins breaks his heart. Meanwhile, Hopkins getting taken in out on the ride among the stars when the father figures silvers proceed to make her spurs soar. Number four. Exchanging for the dialogue in here doesn't allow environmental for this the I'm Still Here song. It also gives an animator for the chance to press. But there is no dialogue dialogue in a sequence. Everything. Things these characters are feeling comes out comes down in the body language and the features of the animation for the emotional and portraits of these moments in Hawkins' life. Even transforms between moments set in the past and the present to see the animators finding creative ways in the Suckus how tournament yesteryear bleeds over into the modern day to Spikins, the family of Hawkins. The animators finding creative ways of how the terminal yesteryear that's Hawkins. The outside of Fantasia films is hard to find in Disney animated films, animation films. That is, a dialogue and taken as storytelling skills to draw the animators. The sheer emotional power and abounding montage wouldn't be here without these talented artists rising and challenges of such a bold scene. No matter what angle you look at it from, that is, I'm still here, Jim's song. Much is, is an incredible for microrealism, a unique creative and an inventing treasure planet, and is such rich as film. Number five. Even the films ending the parts in the Disney norms by refusing to lie, to tie everything up in the Bow to Gretchen for a relationship between Hawkins and Silver, an opportunity to, to, to continue to, to continue to work on a side by side, which community sounds the topical to happy ending. It's in is concerned. 
So instead, Hawkins, to make his consistent choice to charge him as a feature rather than Riley, on the father figure, a swift relationship, or like otherwise. Otherwise posted is a moment of quiet to Rollins, and it serves in the perfect education, autocorrect feelings concerned earlier. I'm still here, I'm still here, and I know this song. By reviewing, by refusing to just to let them go, to make it take it easy, to routine the wrapping of Diamantic and Treasure Planet, real firms, and commitment unique and emotionally to the writer's storytelling. Of course, a director of the effort in the front Rock Climax and Sean Musker isn't perfect, no feature of Disney animated devoid in his shortcomings. Cosmer to leave for the characters, Nick Ben, Martin Short. It's too loud to come into Treasure Planet far too late for a necessary part of the plot. But there are also clumsy pieces of dialogue while they're entertainingly brave character Captain Amelia, voiced by Emma Thompson, getting to inside from the third act for the potential injury furiously in the waste of a one Disney for one of Disney Moore's memorable and life action heroes. However, those flaws and outweigh in the truly impressive creative and decisions of particularly in the visuals and gangbusters watch a sequence. Which in this makes it unlike in any other entry in the Walt Disney Animation Studios can it. In Walt Disney's Animation Studios turns Treasure Planet turns twenty. Treasure Planet deserves to be known and the far than to just as his box office struggles. It's an awesome gem. Awesome gem hmm, is a canon that Disney tragically ignored for decades. But only the average and the to the fine movie does so far under Disney's radar as this canon now serve. For those who would never see it, as something akin to cinematic, buried to treasure once they watch it. In the year 2002, they passed away for the past for 20 years for the, the Treasure Land, the, the Treasure Planet, like film. Treasure Planet, it's like, it's like that is. So I've seen a poster. At this Treasure Planet poster board, the cardboard is like those things are cinematic. As a boy, as a girl, and about your age. Yeah. So Treasure Planet premieres in, in November 27, 2002. So thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoy. So, Happy 20th anniversary from Treasure Planet. Flashback Friday, Black Friday, November 25th, 2022. So thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoy. On your phone or your computer, share with me on YouTube videos. So share with me from YouTube or you can download it if you want to. So okay, thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoy. So please click on like into below. Click on likes in below, Toppy Wars comments below, and you say Toppy Wars says happy anniversary, happy 20th anniversary for Treasure Planet. Click subscribe, click bell, click all. Boom. I'll see you next time. So happy 20th anniversary from Treasure Planet. Jesus loves us. Love ya. Happy Thanksgiving. Merry Christmas.